All right, so I wasn't gonna do this video, but because of what just happened, I thought I should. And I've got zero footage. So you just have to put up with me waffling on. Put up with my ugly mug, I'm afraid, because as I said, I, uh, I didn't get any footage, so I didn't run with the GoPro, but I just did the Adelaide 10K. So part of the Adelaide Marathon. I was hoping that I could go sub 41 and a half minutes. So I was thinking if I could run four minutes and eight seconds per kilometer, I'd be pretty stoked. So this year I've been doing a lot of park runs and haven't, re haven't managed yet to get under 20 minutes. I've been really trying and it's a bit frustrating because last year I did a 19.19 for 5K. I entered this 10K with the goal of sub 41 and a half minutes. So let's go through it because it was quite an amazing day for me. So it was a perfect day. There was no wind. It was probably under 10 degrees. It was cool. It was overcast and just I don't think you'd get more perfect weather. We really are loving Adelaide and we're loving how good it is to run. Coming from Queensland where it's always quite warm, even in winter, it, it makes such a difference for your running. You don't have to worry about overheating ever here, which is fantastic. So let's go through it. So I'm just gonna go kilometer for kilometer. So my first K was a 349. So 349 pace, obviously. And I thought I'm gonna let myself go a bit for the first K because you get caught up in the moment. And remembering I was looking at 408 pace, so in my mind right there, I've got 10, 18, 19 seconds in the bank. So I'm thinking, let's go hard for the first or just go with the flow and see what happens. The second K was a 352 pace, so I only dropped three seconds. Now I was in a little group at this point, there was probably about six of us, and I'm thinking, this is all right, I'll just kind of sit here. But to be honest, the pace got a bit hot and I had to let them go. So the third K was four minutes on the dot. So I'm still running really well, thinking, wow, I'm feeling actually pretty comfortable here. The fourth K was a 3.58. And the fifth K was a 4.02. So I actually ran through 5K in 1943. So remembering I haven't broken 20 minutes for 5K yet this year, and in a 10K, I run a 19.43. So at that point, I thought, I'm actually feeling pretty good here. I might have a crack at this. I might see if I can go under 40 minutes for 10K, which remembering is about a minute and a half quicker than I thought I could do. So the sixth K was a 4.02. The seventh K was a 4.02. And between the 7th and 8th K, there was an uphill. It was quite a long uphill, and I knew it was coming. And I thought, I've just got to get over this hill and see how I feel. So that kilometre was a 4.06, which was actually my slowest kilometre. But then, of course, you turn around and you go straight back down this hill. So my 9th K was a 3.51. And then at this point, I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I looked at my watch, it was 3.58 per kilometer pace. So the last kilometer, I just let it go and I ran a 3.51, which gave me a time of, for 10K by my watch, 39.36. So, oh my God. But the official finishing time, and I got it was 10 kilometers, what did I get? 10.03 kilometers. I got 39.43. So whilst recording this, and there's my medal, which is actually a very cool medal. Well done, Adelaide Marathon, really like that. When recording this, I don't know where I came in my age group. What I can tell you is last year, the winning time was over 40 minutes for the old farts, for the over 50. So who knows how I went, but I'd like to think I was up the pointy end for sure. So just a quick video. Very impressed with myself here. That's the fastest 10K I've run in, I'm gonna say 10, 15 years, I don't even remember. But 53 years old and breaking 40 minutes, I'm pretty impressed with that. Anyway guys, thanks for listening to me and I'll catch you next time.